Hey, David here with DIYMountainBike.com, DIYMountainBike.com. Today we're going to jump into uh, adjusting the derailleurs on the Mongoose mountain bike, front and rear derailleurs, front and rear gears. You get that nasty kind of sound shifting. Um, we're going to fix that. So we're going to jump into getting the close-ups and I'll show you what you need to do. Important thing, um, tools, Phillips screwdriver, and maybe some needle nose pliers. Phillips needle nose, maybe. So stay tuned, let's jump into close-ups. So we're going to start out by talking about the rear gears. So let me, uh, let me show you what's going on. So as I'm pedaling, right, trying to get down into this lowest gear, and that's the problem. It's actually coming out of position. So I think you might be able to see it. But this screw right here, the way the mongoose gear set works it's actually limited by how much it can move the, the the shifting is done by the amount of line or a boat of cable pulled on but the stops so the low end low gear high end high gear those stops are controlled by two different screws on the derailleur itself so this is the derailleur unit um, it's got this flex to absorb the different heights of the rear cassette. This is called the rear cassette. And our adjustment, our stop, is that... Now, I love having a bike stand for this because it's, it's really almost essential. So, let's uh, make some adjustments. We're going to screw in, which again is going to shift the derailleur in towards the center of the bike or center of the wheel. I'm actually going to turn this guy until it's relatively smooth. Let's see what are we doing now? It's close. Let's get back in here, screw it a little bit more. There we go. There we got it. All the way up, down to the stop. Quietly fits into that gear. So again, that's the screw. So we're going to make some adjustments real quick, and I'm going to show you how to adjust it going up the other way on the cassette. Okay. So for out of adjustment going the other way, again, the mongoose runs on a stop. You can see what happens here. So stepping up the gears, oh, actually in behind in the derailleur, if you can see it down here, is actually getting caught in there. So we're going to back that down so we don't cause some damage. All right. All right, so I've got the screw just about where it needs to be. And I can tell because I'm at the full extent of the, what the, the grip will do, the shifter. So now I actually have to dig into adjusting this um, uh, barrel screw. So. I'm going to do about three screws on there. Three turns. It's probably about that much. We'll start over. One click. There we go. So again, you adjust the screw and you adjust this barrel. That will get you into uh, getting that rear derailleur the way you want. So let's reposition everything. We'll jump into adjusting the front. I'm going to take a quick little break and Talk about where you can find even more. I've written up a whole article on DIYMountainBike.com slash mountain or mongoose gears. DIYMountainBike.com slash mongoose gears. Cool, let's get into it again. All right, so let's get into this. 
front derailleur is mostly adjusted by these two screws here. So this is our low stop. So as we're into the smallest ring, the front gear set, um, this is the one that stops that derailleur going in. So again, the, the Mongoose uh, Shimano system that this has is operates on stops. So right now the, at the low end, it looks good. All right, so let's go up to the middle ring. Shift the nice there. On the high ring, you can actually see it's it's rubbing there. So what the problem is is that the derailleur assembly is out too far. So remember we adjusted this guy before. This one is the out stop. So we're gonna put some some turns on that. Even a little bit of a cycling here. And so we're in the low middle ring, nice and smooth. High ring. It looks pretty good. So again, the high stop, meaning as the derailleur moves outboard to your biggest ring, is adjusted here to the smallest ring is adjusted on this guy okay thanks again we're going to jump out and do a outro